Alright, there you go. Oh, get your finger out of the way of the camera. Alright, word. It's recording, right? Alright. Yeah, I just got my hands on this really beautiful juvenile northern water snake. You can see that underside is crazy. Um, this guy freaked out a little bit when I grabbed him, but after just like two minutes of handling the snake, he's just totally mellowed out. It's really cool. These people are like interested. They uh, gorgeous. What kind of snake is that? Uh, it's a northern water snake. All right now. Yeah. So as they as they get older, they'll lose. I don't know if you can see that, but on their dorsal, they have some uh, bands. As they get older, they'll lose that and they'll kind of fade away to a more just drab black. And then, uh, but just like that underside is really cool. But yeah, anyway, um, only handled the snake for like two minutes and it calmed right down. And I've probably been handling it for like 10 minutes now. But just want to make sure that you guys get a good enough view of the snake. Because this is one really cute little juvenile water snake. They get mistaken a lot for cotton mouths, but. Here in New Jersey, we do not get cotton mouths. Um, these are non-venomous. I don't know if I said that in the video, but they have an anticoagulant, which if they bite you, it'll thin your blood a little bit. You'll bleed a little more. Um, but yeah, basically harmless snakes. Although when they get full size, um, that bite can kind of hurt uh, and make you leak for a little bit. But yeah, really cute. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, release this guy now but he's paying attention to me and not you I wanted you guys to really get a look at that face but yeah all right gonna go ahead and let this little guy go right back where I found him <clears throat> head towards the water buddy thank you for letting me show you and that was just really chill what a cool snake so it is June 6th, it's about 79 degrees, and uh, the air quality isn't too good today. It says that it's unhealthy for sensitive groups, but either way, I'm going to go out and see if we can find any of the first ringnecks of the year. Alright, just flipped this piece of cement that I usually flip, and found this little in-shed garter, and tons of ants, so I'm going to get this little guy out, and then put the rock back. But cool. All right, cute little first snake of the day. A little juvenile garter. It's in shed though, but really cute little dude. See you later, buddy. All right, let's see what else we can find today. Like that. So, moment of truth. There's a little ring neck, and there's the garter. Cool. Um, get a closer look for you. Okay. Here's the snakes, really bright. So this is what seems to be an intergrade zone for these ringnecks, because you can see the bottom is a plain yellowish orange, and then it's got an incomplete ring. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got an incomplete ring, so you could tell this is definitely that intergrade zone for these guys, which is cool. You got a little variation. So the fire that's in Nova Scotia, all of the uh, smoke has gotten all the way over here in New Jersey. And just look at that sun. That is so cool. Yeah, it's all from a wildfire in Nova Scotia. All right, so I just flipped that piece of bark where in the last video I found a worm snake under it. And found one today. It's gonna rain in a little bit, so I decided to come out real quick. And I wonder if this is the same worm snake that was under that same piece of bark last time. And I would not doubt it. It's, a, it's definitely, it's around the same length. So I'd assume that's the same one. But cool. Nice worm snake for the day. First gray tree frog of the night. 
Had to get him out of the road in case a car was coming, but nice. Here's a closer look at this guy. I know it's a male, it just chirped. So, nice first gray tree frog of the night. Hopefully we get some more. I saw a few DORs, so, but nice. Cute little guy, I'm gonna take some photos of this guy. All right, see you later, buddy. What are you doing? The pond is the other way. First Fowler's toad of the night, nice. Let me take a quick photo. Just had to get this guy out of the road because the car was coming, but see you later, dude. Stay out of the road. Ooh. A metamorph green frog. You can see that dorsolateral fold behind the tympanum, which is their ear. Um, you can see that dorsolateral fold, which is distinctive of this species, and a good way to differentiate them from bullfrogs. So, but yeah, cool. There goes another gray tree frog. Oh, it's a little one too. Look how little. <laughs> See you later, buddy. That was cool. I don't usually see him that young. Here's another metamorph green frog. Just spotted a nesting turtle right off the trail. And it's a it's a painted turtle. Cool. I don't want to move her since she's in the middle of nesting, but also she's like right out in the open. A lot of people here would uh, take a turtle like this, but cool. It's so amazing watching these turtles dig their nests. You can see she goes from left leg to her right leg to dig this hole. Very cool. All right, just came to this power line cut for the first time. Just found this board. I don't see anything. Dang it. Everything's all moist under cover though. So hopefully we'll get something on the crawl today. All right, so I made a little stop, didn't find anything, and then started continuing down this power line cut and spotted a painted turtle. Hello. Let me see ya. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Really pretty. I'm gonna take some quick photos and leave this turtle right here. All right, just took some photos of this turtle. Also managed to get a tick on me. So I'm gonna put this turtle down, let them get back to whatever they were doing, and uh, get this tick off of me. Just spotted this really cool looking flower. I don't know what it is, whether or not it's native, but what a cool looking flower either way. And this isn't the power line cut. I mean, there's tons of bamboo right there, but just this flower by itself. Really cool. Just spotted this old box turtle shell. All right, just spotted this juvenile black racer under a piece of cover. Now I'm at a spot that I was, I'm near a spot that I was at yesterday, but this is like a different side of that cut. But yeah, first snake of the day, Little juvenile black racer and if you haven't been following the channel it's been a while since we've seen a racer so really nice to see one. Oh my gosh he's fired up yeah these snakes are super intelligent super defensive but really nice snakes non-venomous these guys grow a lot bigger than this there he goes right under the cover I found him under so here's one more look at this little juvenile black racer before I get out of here 
it's been it feels like it's been way too long since I've seen these snakes um, saw one not too long ago but didn't get like a good enough look at it uh, with a friend of mine but this time I actually got a racer a juvenile and it's like near my house this is the closest I've ever seen them so really awesome I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back and then uh, head out of here but yeah thank you little guy all right it's a damn all right you gonna be cool with me you already gave me one nip one little kiss all right buddy right back under his piece of cover see you later dude and I also noticed when I came back over here there's a shed so really nice to see that there's a population of racers here anyway I'm gonna head back home now really cool